the universe will be expanding in 22 billion years. It'll be expanding faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by this. In the present moment, our nightly expanse is going through a significant transformation that might completely change its appearance in just a few decades. Polaris, the steadfast point in the night sky for stargazers, navigators, and astronomers, has always been a reliable constant. However, astronomers globally are sounding the alarm. Neil deGrasse Tyson has recently affirmed that Polaris is on the brink of a spectacular explosion, prompting us to ponder, what will this explosion mean for the North Star, and how will Earth be affected? Join us as we unravel how Polaris has just exploded and how something very terrifying is happening. Uncertainty in the cosmic realm. For centuries, Polaris has stood as the unwavering North Star, a celestial guidepost honored by astronomers and navigators alike. Its constant presence in the night sky has been a big boost to celestial navigation, providing a reliable marker for those navigating by the stars. But the future of this cosmic luminary is now covered in uncertainty, as a recent research paper from the esteemed Royal Astronomical Society presented on September 23rd hints at a potential crisis in the fate of Polaris. According to Tyson, recent observations indicate that Polaris has just exploded. The impending revelation suggests that Polaris is unsteady on the brink of a tragic explosion, threatening to erase its brilliance from the night sky forever. Before delving into the profound implications of this cosmic revelation, let's delve into the unique characteristics of Polaris itself. Also known as the North Star or Pole Star, Polaris occupies a special place in the heavens due to its proximity to the celestial North Pole. Positioned almost directly above Earth's North Pole, it gives the illusion of near stillness in the northern sky. Residing in the constellation Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper or Small Bear, Polaris is a yellow-white supergiant star, dwarfing our sun in both size and brightness, yet residing at a shocking distance of approximately 40 times the sun's radius. Historically, the North Star has transcended civilizations and eras, bestowing significant cultural, navigational, and symbolic value. Its stability near the celestial North Pole made it an invaluable aid for ancient mariners and travelers, serving as a guiding beacon that allowed sailors to navigate the seas and lands with confidence. The impending fate of Polaris adds a new facet of fascination to its rich history, casting a shadow of uncertainty over its timeless role in the celestial narrative. Due to its nearly perfect alignment with Earth's axis, Polaris has become a trustworthy marker for finding direction especially in the Northern Hemisphere. This cosmic gem isn't just a universal compass, though. It carries significant symbolic weight across various cultures. In the eyes of many societies, Polaris embodies constancy and unwavering steadfastness. It stands as a beacon of stability in the vast expanse of the night sky, playing the role of a celestial pole star that remains fixed amidst the enchanting dance of stars above. This unique status has elevated Polaris beyond its astronomical significance turning it into a symbol of enduring strength and reliability across the stage of human beliefs and interpretations. In the vast expanse of the night sky, Polaris, the North Star, beckons as a beacon of celestial marvel. Once thought to be a solitary point of light, this seemingly singular universal luminary unfolds into a captivating narrative of cosmic complexity. Navigating the Cosmic Landscape Embarking on a stellar journey, we delve into the revised Hipparco Stellar Parallax, a cosmic measuring tape that places Polaris at a distance of approximately 323 light years. This means that if Polaris were to explode today, we wouldn't witness the event until 323 years in the future. The predictions made by scientists, therefore, rely on factual evidence observed in the present, leaving open the possibility that Polaris may have already undergone a cosmic transformation with the effects yet to reach us. This revelation, however, is not the lone voice in the cosmic chorus, for the Gaia mission, another celestial cartographer, whispers a different distance of about 448 light years. On the cosmic scene, Polaris weaves a tale of cosmic uncertainty, challenging our perceptions of its distant glow. But Polaris, with its solitary gleam, hides a celestial secret within its radiance. It is not a lone wanderer, but a triple star system, a cosmic trio revolving through the cosmos. At its center reigns the primary luminary, a yellow supergiant named Polaris AA. 
This majestic giant, classified with the regal spectral type of T71, commands a mass of 5.4 solar masses, a celestial monarch in its own right. Yet, the cosmic show continues as Polaris AA dances in unity with a smaller companion, Polaris AB. This stellar pair, discovered by the watchful eyes of William Herschel in August 1779, unfolds a celestial pas de deux, revealing the complex choreography of their gravitational embrace. As if this were not enough, the dance extends further to include a third celestial partner, Polaris B. The cosmic narrative unfolds with Polaris B, a modest 1.39 solar mass F3 main sequence star, pirouetting at a distance of 2,400 astronomical units. A stellar companion observed with a modest telescope, Polaris B adds its shimmering notes to the cosmic symphony. Meanwhile, in the cosmic wings, Polaris AB, or P, a closely situated F6 main sequence star with a mass of 1.26 solar masses, joins the celestial ballet, casting its glow in the cosmic performance. In the cosmic chronicles of Polaris, our universal storytellers have traced the dance of this luminous entity through the annals of time. In the year 1899, the cosmic scribe William Wallace Campbell etched a celestial note in history, reporting the varying radial velocity of Polaris A. The celestial spotlight intensified in 1927 when Joseph Hampton Moore, a cosmic specialist, recognized Polaris A as a Cepheid variable, a stellar luminary that pulsates rhythmically. As Moore unraveled the cosmic threads, a tale of celestial companionship emerged. The fluctuations in velocity, he revealed, were not a solitary celestial dance, but a harmonious interplay of a four-day pulsation period, a more extended orbital period, and a cosmic eccentricity reaching a value of approximately zero-point sight. The cosmic script deepened as Moore penned orbital elements in 1929, sketching a celestial waltz with a period of about 29.7 years and an eccentricity of 0.63. The cosmic narrative continued with Boris Petrovich Gerasimovich, a stellar artisan, crafting proper motion studies in 1939. This cosmic masterpiece confirmed the orbital period, enhancing our understanding of Polaris A's celestial ballet. In the year 1955, Rohr, armed with radial velocity data, added a new cosmic note, revealing an orbital period of 3.46 years and an eccentricity of 0.64. The stellar score underwent refinement in 1996, orchestrated by K.W. Camper. With precision, Camper established 29.95 years and an eccentricity of 0.608, further refining the celestial symphony. The cosmic melody echoed into 2019, where Richard Anderson, a contemporary cosmic composer, introduced updated values, 29.32 years, and an eccentricity of 0.620. Yet Polaris, in its cosmic stage, holds more secrets. Once considered stellar companions, Polaris C and Polaris D now step out of the celestial spotlight, revealed through a meticulous investigation to be cosmic wanderers not physically entwined with the Polaris system. As we gaze upon Polaris AA, the luminary at the heart of this celestial ballet, we unravel the cosmic drama, a triple star system, a low amplitude population Y classical Cepheid variable. This celestial entity, initially believed to be a type II Cepheid, transcends the cosmic stage, captivating astronomers as a crucial standard candle for measuring cosmic distances. The celestial heartbeat of Polaris echoes through the cosmic ages. Suspected in 1852 and confirmed by the universal maestro Einar Hertzsprung, in 1911, the variability of Polaris adds a cosmic rhythm to the tapestry of our night sky. Thus, the celestial saga of Polaris continues an intricate dance of light and cosmic forces in the vast expanse of the universe, guiding light of the cosmos. In ancient tales and legends, Polaris, often known as the North Star, carried symbolic meanings of guidance, stability, and being a celestial anchor. Beyond folklore, Polaris played a vital role in the realm of astronomy due to its unchanging position in the night sky. This fixed celestial beacon became an essential reference point for astronomers, offering stability amid the ever-shifting celestial showdown. Astronomers leveraged Polaris as a guiding light, aiding in the observation of other celestial bodies and unraveling the intricate motions and patterns of the night sky. Polaris, being a Cepheid variable star, adds another layer to its cosmic significance. Its periodic variations in brightness, similar to a stellar heartbeat, 
have proven invaluable in uncovering crucial insights into stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. These pulsations, following a predictable pattern, have become a cornerstone in determining cosmic distances and calibrating astronomical instruments. In the cosmic dance of the night sky, Polaris stands as a reliable partner, offering its luminous rhythm for astronomers to decipher. This celestial luminary, with its consistent behavior, provides astronomers with a predictable pattern, making the study of the cosmos a more navigable and enlightening journey. In a captivating turn of events, Polaris, the once predictable star, has departed from its usual rhythmic behavior. This unexpected deviation from its anticipated pulsation cycle has left astronomers puzzled, sparking a thorough investigation into this celestial puzzle. Contrary to its customary and predictable pulsation pattern, Polaris has taken on a new and perplexing routine. Instead of following the expected ebb and flow, the star has embarked on an erratic journey, displaying an unpredictable cycle of dimming and brightening. The cosmic stage is set with a plot twist, as Polaris challenges our understanding of its luminous performance in the vast celestial theater. Although Polaris doesn't experience significant temperature changes during its pulsations, the extent of these changes is both variable and unpredictable. The irregular temperature fluctuations during each cycle, spanning from less than 50 Kelvin to at least 170 Kelvin, might be associated with Polaris's orbit around Polaris AB. Recent scientific studies indicate that Polaris is now 2.5 times brighter than when TMY observed it, shifting from the third to the second magnitude. Astronomer Edward Gwynnon finds this transformation extraordinary, suggesting that if authentic, these changes defy current theories of stellar evolution by being 100 times larger than predicted. Scientists are expressing concern about Polaris, suggesting that the star might be approaching its final stages. This aligns with the typical behaviors seen in stars as they reach the end of their life cycles. The noticeable lengthening of Polaris's pulsation period, which used to be reliably consistent in its rhythmic dimming and brightening, is believed to result from interactions within the star system, which appears as a single entity to us. The dazzling ballet of supernovae. Such a cosmic spectacle is so grand that it marks the dramatic finale of a colossal star's existence or the explosive transformation of a white dwarf. The celestial entity, known as the progenitor, undergoes a magnificent transformation, either collapsing into a dense neutron star, collapsing further into a mysterious black hole, or perhaps vanishing completely, leaving behind a vast and ethereal nebula. This stellar ballet, known as a supernova, dazzles with an intense brilliance that can rival an entire galaxy at its peak luminosity, gradually waning over weeks or even months. Delving into history, the last time the Milky Way played host to such a celestial spectacle was in 1604, with the dazzling Kepler's supernova. Just before that, in 1572, the night sky witnessed the brilliance of Tycho's supernova. Both of these awe-inspiring events were visible to the unaided eye, leaving a lasting imprint on human memory. While remnants of more recent supernovae have been detected, direct sightings within our galaxy are a rare treat. However, when we turn our gaze beyond the Milky Way to distant galaxies, a fascinating pattern emerges. On average, it seems that our galaxy witnesses the cosmic fireworks of a supernova approximately three times every century. The prospect of witnessing such a celestial phenomenon within the Milky Way becomes even more exciting with the aid of modern astronomical telescopes, which can potentially unveil the fascinating details of this cosmic spectacle. The latest supernova visible to the naked eye, SN1987A. It was born from the explosion of a massive blue supergiant star in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a companion galaxy to our Milky Way. Scientists think that most supernovae happen in two main ways. One is like a white dwarf reigniting nuclear fusion in a sudden burst, and the other is when the core of a huge star collapses due to gravity. Imagine the white dwarf scenario like this. The temperature of the dwarf shoots up, causing a runaway nuclear fusion, and the star completely breaks apart. This might happen because the dwarf is gathering material from a nearby star or merging with another star. Now, in the collapse scenario of a massive star, the core implodes rapidly when it can't make enough energy from fusion to balance its own gravity. This usually occurs when the star starts fusing iron but could happen even earlier. When a supernova happens, it can shoot out masses of material at crazy speeds, creating a shock wave that expands into space, forming what we see as a supernova remnant, a shell made of gas and dust. 
These exploding stars play a big role in putting different elements into space, like oxygen and rubidium, enriching the cosmic environment. The shock waves unleashed by supernovae aren't just a cosmic spectacle. They also have a hand in birthing new stars. Beyond their role as celestial fireworks, supernovae are essential creators of cosmic rays. While there's a chance they generate gravitational waves, these detections have been confined to intense cosmic events involving black holes and neutron stars. Supernovae, occurring roughly three times per century in our Milky Way, are relatively rare making the hunt for these elusive phenomena a task that requires constant vigilance across multiple galaxies. Currently, a dedicated community of both amateur and professional astronomers tirelessly identifies several hundred supernovae each year. Some are caught in the act during their peak brightness, while others are unearthed by scrutinizing historical astronomical images. Predicting when and where a supernova will occur in distant galaxies proves tricky. Typically, they're discovered mid-explosion. To use supernovae as cosmic yardsticks for measuring distances, it's crucial to catch them in the act, observing their peak brilliance well before it fades away. The quest for understanding these celestial explosions demands persistent monitoring and an eagerness to unveil the secrets hidden within the vast expanses of our universe. Enthusiastic stargazers, who far outnumber the pros, play a crucial role in uncovering supernovae. Armed with optical telescopes, amateur astronomers meticulously examine nearby galaxies, comparing their findings to older snapshots. As we stepped into the later part of the 20th century, astronomers began embracing computer-guided telescopes and CCDs charge-coupled devices to spot these cosmic explosions. This trend wasn't just for the pros. Hobbyists also joined the league, harnessing the power of technology to explore the night sky. Amidst these, there's a standout like the Katzman Automatic Imaging Telescope, a professional-grade setup making waves in the quest to unveil the secrets of supernova. The Supernova Early Warning System, or SNOOZ, is like a cosmic alarm system using a bunch of detectors for neutrinos. Neutrinos are tiny particles made in large quantities during a supernova. And what's cool is that they don't get blocked much by the stuff floating around in our galaxy. When it comes to looking for supernova, scientists split into two teams. One group keeps an eye on things happening closer to home, while the other focuses on events far, far away in the cosmos. It's like having a galactic watchtower that gives us a heads up when something spectacular is about to happen in our Milky Way. The vastness of the universe provides a clever way to measure the distance to far-off objects with a known emission spectrum. By studying their Doppler shift or redshift, we can estimate how much these objects are moving away from us. Typically, things farther away show a higher redshift, indicating they are moving away faster. This redshift concept is crucial in understanding the universe's expansion. Supernovae, exploding stars, are key players in this cosmic drama. Scientists split their search into two categories, high redshift and low redshift, usually within a redshift range of Z between 0.1 to 0.3, where Z measures the frequency shift in a spectrum. High redshift searches involve studying the light curves of supernova, helping create Hubble diagrams, and making cosmological predictions using standard or calibrated candles. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Polaris has just exploded, and something terrifying is happening. In a breathtaking celestial spectacle, Polaris, the North Star, erupted in a dazzling display of cosmic fireworks, sending shockwaves through the galaxy. As astronomers on Earth scrambled to comprehend the unprecedented event, an eerie silence enveloped the night sky. Unknown to humanity, the explosion triggered an otherworldly phenomenon, a portal to an ancient dimension. From this rift emerged shadowy entities, their sinister presence casting a foreboding darkness over the planet. Scientists worldwide, joined by a diverse team of experts, worked tirelessly to understand the escalating threat. The once steady Polaris now pulsed with an ominous energy, and reports flooded in of bizarre occurrences. Mysterious symbols etched in the night sky, unexplained phenomena bending reality itself. A young astrophysicist named Alara became the unlikely heroine of this unfolding crisis. Guided by cryptic dreams and an inherited ancient artifact, she embarked on a quest to decipher the cosmic puzzle. As she delved deeper into her research, Alara discovered a forgotten prophecy that foretold the catastrophic consequences of Polaris's demise. The world held its breath as Alara and her team raced against time to close the portal and thwart the encroaching darkness. Along the way, 
They encountered surreal landscapes, battled ethereal guardians, and unraveled the secrets of an ancient civilization that had once harnessed Polaris's power for good. As the tension reached its climax, Elara faced a moral dilemma. Sacrifice the North Star's remnants to save Earth, or risk unleashing an even greater cosmic catastrophe. With courage, she made a fateful choice, sealing the portal and restoring the night sky to its former glory. Let us know your thoughts about what you just saw in your screen in the comments below. Bold predictions of a cosmic explosion? The James Webb Space Telescope sparks fascinating questions about what's in store for Polaris, the North Star. Beyond that, it showcases the incredible progress we've made in space exploration tools. This telescope lets us peer far into space, unveiling the secrets of universal objects. It's proof of how driven we are to understand more about the universe and our ability to venture into the unknown. While we eagerly await new findings from the James Webb Space Telescope Cosmic Telescope and other observatories, the tale of Polaris weaves an extra chapter into our cosmic story. Imagine, from ancient times when people found guidance in the North Star's symbolism to now, where modern revelations show us how it behaves as a star. Polaris keeps grabbing our attention, encouraging us to look up and marvel at the wonders of the cosmos. It's like a grand story unfolding, with stars being born, going through changes, and eventually saying their cosmic goodbyes. We've noticed something fascinating. Every year, the pulsation duration of Polaris increases by 4.5 seconds. Now, that might sound like a small change, but in the world of astronomy, it's a big deal. Some astronomers think this shift might be due to the gravitational dance between the stars in the Polaris system, affecting the conditions in Polaris's atmosphere and causing changes in its pulsation. However, not everyone agrees. Some scientists are making a bold claim. They believe that Polaris is gearing up for a spectacular explosion shortly. This suspicion is far from baseless. Polaris's mysterious behavior has some similarities to another star called Betelgeuse. Situated in the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse has also been acting strangely, with fluctuations in its brightness that have sparked talks of a potential explosion. Experts are already sounding the alarm about Betelgeuse's fate. What is captivating is that the fluctuations in the brightness and patterns of both Polaris and Betelgeuse seem to be following similar paths, drawing intriguing parallels between their behaviors. It's like they're telling a cosmic story, and Kefiid stars like these often show these kinds of patterns as they approach the end of their life cycles. The mystery deepens as we explore the captivating behaviors of these celestial giants. In the cosmic showdown of stellar entities, these stars, pulsating steadily throughout eons, undergo terrifying changes in brightness as they near the finale of their stellar journeys. NASA's gaze was captivated by the unusual behavior of Betelgeuse. The agency's heightened concern about Betelgeuse possibly exploding stands in contrast to the irregularities noticed in Polaris. Although NASA has shown keen interest in Betelgeuse's antics, similar attention and official worry are yet to be declared for Polaris. Cepheid stars like Polaris embark on a grand evolutionary journey through different phases. When they're newborns, they're relatively cool and dim. As they progress into the main sequence phase marked by stable nuclear fusion, they remain shining steadily for billions of years. Eventually, as their hydrogen fuel dwindles, they enter the red giant phase. This phase is characterized by a rapid surge in temperature and brightness. The climax of this phase involves a spectacular explosion, shedding outer layers in a dazzling supernova. What's left after this cosmic fireworks display is a compact, dense core called a white dwarf. Now, based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists predict that the star has entered the stages of helium depletion. These are observed in Cepheid stars nearing the end of their life cycles. It's like Polaris is giving us a sneak peek into the dramatic final chapters of its cosmic story. When a Cepheid star runs out of its stable helium supply, it experiences unpredictable pulsations that lead to changes in its brightness. The depletion of helium in Polaris sets off a chain of events, causing irregular light emissions that may indicate the ongoing depletion process within the star. It's crucial to understand that while these irregularities align with behaviors typical of Cepheid stars in their twilight phases, clear signs of Polaris approaching the ultimate stage of its life cycle remain elusive. 
Astronomers are diligently studying and understanding these irregularities in their quest to unravel Polaris's impending fate. Should Polaris undergo a supernova, it would be a breathtaking spectacle in our night sky. The star would suddenly blaze with intense brightness, potentially surpassing the moon and becoming one of the most radiant objects in the celestial expanse. This luminous display could last for days, weeks, or even months. Polaris's appearance might undergo a dramatic transformation, evolving into a brilliant point of light or a transient object, possibly adorned with colorful hues before gradually fading away. Such a cosmic event might temporarily alter our familiar view of the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, as Polaris is the current North Star and a vital part of these constellations. However, rest assured we will be perfectly safe. Given the mass and distance of Polaris, even if the star were to explode, Earth would likely remain unaffected. While a Polaris explosion might not be as visually striking as that of Betelgeuse, it could still be visible to the naked eye for an extended period, outshining nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories worldwide would undoubtedly take notice, sparking intrigue within the scientific community and among stargazers. Nevertheless, the specific visibility and impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would be less significant compared to a supernova event closer to us. But what lies ahead for the star itself? On the brink of a potential supernova event, what destiny awaits Polaris in the aftermath of this cataclysmic occurrence? The cosmic narrative of Polaris continues to unfold, keeping astronomers and enthusiasts alike eagerly anticipating the next chapter in the star's captivating saga. Exploring Polaris's Unique Journey Giant stars usually conclude their stellar journeys with a spectacular event known as a supernova, but Polaris is expected to take a different path. Typically, when a massive star undergoes a supernova, a colossal explosion ensues, signifying the final cataclysmic stage in the star's life. This explosion results in the dispersal of heavy elements and can potentially lead to the formation of neutron stars or black holes. This dramatic process involves the complete collapse of the core in a high-mass star, one that is approximately eight times the mass of our sun. As such a star depletes its nuclear fuel, it loses the ability to resist its own gravitational force, ultimately causing its core to collapse. Supernovae are broadly categorized into two types based on their characteristics, type 1 and type 2. Type 2. Supernovae commonly occur in massive stars with delicate layers. In this scenario, the core collapses, and the outer layers are explosively expelled, resulting in a burst of light and energy visible from great distances. In contrast, a Type 1 supernova unfolds in binary star systems where one of the stars is a white dwarf. One possibility involves the companion star expanding, with material from it being ejected into the orbit of the white dwarf. When the white dwarf gathers sufficient mass from the companion star, reaching a critical limit of approximately 1.4 times the mass of the Sun, a nuclear fusion reaction occurs triggering an explosion and the release of an immense amount of energy. Another scenario involves two white dwarfs in a binary system, where their orbits decay due to energy loss, leading them to merge. The combined mass surpasses the critical limit, initiating a similar runaway fusion reaction and subsequent supernova. Type 1 supernovae are known for their consistent intrinsic brightness, making them valuable as standard candles for measuring cosmological distances. They play a crucial role in estimating the age of the universe and the rate of its expansion. Because Polaris lacks the necessary mass for a dramatic explosion or a supernova conclusion, it won't evolve into a neutron star or a black hole. Despite having a mass five times greater than the Sun, Polaris, of this size, is still not sizable enough to undergo a supernova event. Rather than experiencing an explosive fate, Polaris will gracefully shed its outer layer, and transform into a white dwarf, a process initiated by the depletion of its nuclear fuel. This transition is anticipated to be tranquil, lacking the intense and violent characteristics associated with a supernova. Polaris will morph into a compact and diminutive remnant in the sky, a subtle evolution compared to the explosive fate of more massive stars. Should Polaris undergo a supernova, it would be an awe-inspiring spectacle, creating a stunning exhibition in our nightly celestial view. The brilliance of Polaris would intensify, potentially surpassing the moon's luminosity for days, weeks, or even months. The star's manifestation might evolve into a remarkable burst of light in the sky, presenting a temporary brightness adorned with beautiful hues before gradually fading away. This celestial phenomenon, 
has the potential to bring about a shift in the well-known configuration of Ursa Minor, owing to Polaris's present role as the North Star within the constellations. The anticipated supernova could leave an indelible mark on the night sky, captivating observers with its extraordinary and transient display. While Polaris currently exhibits indications of an impending explosion, the precise timing of this event or its transformation into a white dwarf remains unknown. The reason is that the North Star is situated a vast distance of 323 light years away from Earth. Consequently, any explosion observed on Earth would be a delayed reflection, taking place 323 years after Polaris has already undergone the celestial transformation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.